Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. A customer at McDonald's drive through was caught on camera arguing with employees and disrupting service over change that dropped on the ground. Guess what the change amount is? Take a look. I'm at this McDonald's and um, I just gave him, gave him a 10. He just dropped all the change on the floor. So he's telling me to pick it up and I said, no, I'm not going to pick it up. And I asked him to give me my $10 back and now he said no. And he's just serving people in front of me. See, he's serving people in front of me and he's refusing to give me my change back. And they are in there laughing. I'm just, I'm drop? just asking me to get, to give what me my, I'm just, he, he, he dropped it. I don't How know what, much did he drop? I just need my $10 back. So I'm just asking my, I was asking for my money back. You want everything back? I just want my money back. That's it. <laughs> So that's what I was asking. So I don't know why he was doing that. You want to do that because you're crying about I'm not crying. Know. I'm not crying. And I'm not your bro. And I'm not there your buddy. You no, I'm not. You bro, you can't pay you get the back of like. Yeah. I'm not use any curse word toward you. I'm a professional of you. I'm a professional of you. You're crying over I'm not crying. I'm being professional. Man, come in the and quiet. I gave you your money back. Please, can you move? Because there's cars behind you. That's okay. how. That's how you're supposed to be talking. I'll, I'll deal with it. You got your don't, money don't back. Don't start yelling at so me. I'm sorry, but she wasn't yelling at you. She was just trying to get the line to move. So please move, because I need to take care of those. How we be moving? After watching the clip, whose side are you on? the employee who continue to curse at the customer or the customer who refused to pick up his change from the floor. In this next clip, you are going to be watching an entitled UCLA film professor embarrass himself in front of the whole class. Take a look at this. Because I have over 70 students, you have 35. So the smart, practical thing to do is... But you made an assumption that you had this room. Yeah, I made that assumption because for 15 years I've taken the final exam in the same classroom I've taught in always. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. And because Where, what room are you assigned for the final? This one right here. This is insane. The audacity of this professor pointing and standing over the female professor. I think he was just, you know, trying or attempting to physically intimidate her to do what he wanted. I want to see it on your mind. I don't have to because I never have been assigned a finals room. The reason is because I always take the final in the same classroom I teach. Well, then why don't they have it blocked out? don't know it's an imperfect world wow this is such a metaphor for how privileged people in the world operates so why can't you call them up I'm... and ask them to move me why do i have to solve a problem when we're in the spot and i will call be... your department and your administration yeah, and solve fine. this problem what's the number i don't know it all Well, 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 for those of you that might be wondering, what was the final outcome of all this drama? The entitled professor ended up leaving the class and the old class continued with their final presentation. Remember he said he was going to fix the problem? Well, he never went back. You won't believe what this Karen was allowing her pet to
to do on her neighbor's yard. Take a look at this. You wanted to find out why you were letting your dog poop <coughs> on everybody's yard. <coughs> yeah, I usually bring a bag. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, you know, we have video surveillance and you've done this over a dozen times and uh, you'd never bring a bag. We've seen you do it here, four houses down, 700, and I'll, I'll be glad to share the tapes with you. I'm going to share this with everybody in the Cloisters neighborhood because you're so inconsiderate with everyone else out here. Well, and I apologize, sir. I do. You should. That's, that's just disrespectful. And we were thinking it was a hate crime because you've been doing these folks' lawn, I don't know how many times, and they just moved in here recently, and that would be a black uh, family, and they're starting to wonder, why is somebody pooping on the yard every day? And it's not your fault, buddy. It's... Your fault, and that's that's and not I nice. I apologize. Well, I we'd do. appreciate you not doing it anymore. And I will. I we 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 know where you live because we're going to deliver it all back to you. We had, we've been doing this, been looking at you for weeks now, just so we could. And I'm, I'm recording it because I want to make sure uh, you don't say I said something I didn't say. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. Well, I, th I think it's disgraceful to, to do that to anybody. And I, like I said, all I can do is apologize, and that's what I do. And I'm certainly sorry. Okay. I appreciate to get some bags from now on. All right, I will. Thank you. Yeah, just because you're doing it at 4.30 in the morning doesn't give you a right to poop on everybody's yard. I'm glad that that neighbor confronted Karen, and I hope that she wouldn't do it again. But if she does, mm, they know exactly where to take all the poop back to. Up next, we've got drama. Between neighbors, guess what? Over a parking spot. Watch this. Alice is a true Karen for real. She is so wrong and her voice ugh is annoying. Y'all need to brace yourself for this shenanigans that is coming up next. Take a look. Get out of here. Get out you of here. Get out of Okay, it. this is my property. But you get the f off of here. Get out of here. Oh, my property. Yeah, get the fuck. Okay. My property. Oh, okay. Get the out of here. The get, woman. Get out of here. Get out of my this property. Is, no. Get, get out, out of my property. Why? Why do you get, get my property? You guys Why? are not. Why? You guys are not. Why? Oh, you guys are Why? This is so embarrassing and I'm definitely sure that the Haitian community do not claim this one. <laughs> wow. You, yeah, you guys you need to leave. 
you and don't my house. You, want it. Yeah. You, 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 you guys came and tied me. You guys leave. You so we told you to look. You trapped past guys. You did not have something. You swear to me. Please don't own the first five feet. You guys hired us to stay with us. Call the police. This is totally insane. Karen acting like a toddler because someone accidentally made a turn on her driveway. Can you imagine how she would act if you mistakenly step on the grass on her lawn? Yikes. This incident happened at one of the Department of Human Services in Memphis, Tennessee. The client in front of the window was asked by the manager to step away, but she refused. You will not believe what happened when the security officer that was called to escort her out did. Take a look at this shenanigans. Oh my goodness, that was insane. That officer was out of control. He was on a power trip for real. His behavior was unacceptable and unprofessional. For those of you that might be wondering if the lady was arrested and jailed, no, she wasn't. She left the office on her own. Unbelievable. Drama at Burger King over a wrong order. Take a look at this. Let me know in the comment section whose side are you on? Probably the employee side or the customer's side. Watch this. Wait a minute. Did the manager just offer to give the customer a rain check at Burger King? Wow, never heard of that before. Let me know in the comment section if you've heard of something like this before. Rain check, okay? Because I'm never coming back again for advice. You do what you need to do. 
I don't need to nothing. You're not see coming me. back and I don't have to do nothing. But I'm just saying. I want my money back. Five bucks. You come in and you see the alert. Five dollars. Give me my dollars just cash back. Like I said, I'm not off it. You want to come to the owner? <coughs> he, he said, he's in 9 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, you put your name on the back of that. Yeah. And I'll take that receipt. I'll, I'll put it on the back to see the owner. Yeah. And just say, I would not give you your money back. Right. And he'll because say, somebody can't. Not put mayonnaise. When they say no mayonnaise, that means no mayonnaise. It doesn't mean put more like mayonnaise said, on it. We don't know what was it. Why wouldn't it be? These people Who cooks their stuff for you. These people can pick up the wrong order. It happens more than that's not the wrong order because the first half of the order. Right. You know what? You're going to try to say a little bit. You're trying to tell me. You're trying to look at it. It has mayonnaise. Maybe you want the crown. I'm just trying to make it right. Without meaning. I'm trying to make it right. Give me my $5 and change back. I'm trying to make it right. Give me your money back. Why not? Because. Okay, let's call them. No, I'm not. If I can't deal with you, you can let me see the phone line at 9 o'clock. So you're not going to call them? No. So you won't do anything? No. I'm telling you. If you want to talk to the owner, you're going to talk to those guys? No. Do you not know who made it? Listen, I don't know who made it. So you don't really know anything? I don't know anything. No. Okay. I'm just... That's fine. Like I said, the owner's at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Knock on that door and call it. My name's there? Yep. A few moments later... Well, you know what? Go back and talk to somebody and just say, can you make the orders proper when you get them? Okay? You got it up on a screen. You read it. You look at it. It says no mayonnaise. You don't put mayonnaise on it. Sorry, go ahead guys. But make sure you check your order before be, you leave. I think you'll be good. Check your order before you leave. I think you'll be good, man, though. Like, because, chill. You know, really. Hey. Uh. Do you think this customer was kind of playing games? He wanted to eat his cake and have it. But when he realized that the manager offered to give him a rain check, Instead of his money back, he had a meltdown. Let me know in the comment section. Who ate the pizza? Is it the DoorDash employee or the customer? Take a look at this. Me, Domino's me, or you? Me. I don't know. Who I didn't. I didn't. Okay. And who? 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 Maybe you know what? Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Maybe when I give you pizza, you open the pizza and put the pizza in your stomach. Like, look at this, your big stomach. How big it is? How big it is? It is pizza there, right there, okay? You think I'm gonna eat the pizza and then come have. This? Yes, yes, I know you. I know. Look at your teeth, bro. Pizza still falling out. You know, all the cheese falling from face, from your mouth, and it's going in the, in the stomach. Domino, you, me, DoorDash, I'm gonna sue everybody. Sue them. Don't me, okay? Bye -bye. I'm going now. I'm going now. Don't call me back again, okay? Eat what you have. Bye bye. If you were the customer, what would you have done to the DoorDash employee? Probably requested to smell his breath in order to determine if he actually ate the pizza? Let me know in the comment section what you would have done. In this next clip, a school teacher attacks a guy who was parked in the handicapped spot. Take a look at this. I spit on me and sm assaulted me. I did not spit on you and assaulted You didn't spit me. on me? No. Hey, all right, cool. I just went, oh. I'm allowed to do that. Okay. I do have significant amount of Can problems. Get out my face? Because I'm in my doorway. I'm trying to get in my car. Thank you. So get out my face. Please. You're a good man, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm a great guy. Get on my yeah, face. that's why you park in handicap spots. I didn't park here, so you should mind your business. You did park here. Are you? Get because out of you're, face. you're on. She spit no. on me, Lewis, and no, smacked me, bro. I'm the being. I'm calling the cops. Lewis. Look at she's. Look at her. You're a school teacher. Go ahead. Handicap. You're an old. You're about to go to jail you're tonight. I'm calling the police. You're an idiot. You're about to go to jail tonight. Did you just assault me? You're an idiot. You're a teacher. You're a. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. She hopped in the car. I was throwing something away. Because I needed the handicapped spot because I couldn't walk. What do you see? You don't look handicapped. You're, oh you're attacking us. And 
Like, what do you think you I about? would have this after hip replacement? I don't care. Not here. And neither I do I. Like, I don't well, you, care. You got hip replacement. I told you, you I'm moving. Hip Give hip me a second. No, and you hopped out of your car and spit on me. I hit for putting it in my face. It's on camera. It's on camera. Yo, bro, I'm trying to get in my car. She's tweaking. Yeah, I'm tired of young men like you. Yeah, we're tired of old men. Get out of your car. Go. Like, I'm yeah, trying to I'm leave you. You're, you're running down on me. You are a king. You are a king. Did the teacher act erratic? Of course she did. But however, that does not give the guy who was parked in the handicapped spot the right to park there without a placard. Unbelievable. This woman was leaving illegally in a storage unit. She was also recording other storage unit owners while she was there. She calls the cops on the manager because he asked her out. Take a look at the drama. Why are you doing this to me? I can't pull all this again. Doing it for my own safety and the safety of my property. Okay, I told you to leave the property. Don't come back till business hours tomorrow. You have until Friday to get your stuff. Do not come on the property till business hours. Goodbye. Or I'm gonna call the cops now. I'm calling the I know you don't want me to. I know you don't want me to. I'm calling the police. So go. I'm calling the police. Okay. You're acting like a I just don't want anything happening to my property. Please walk away from me right now. Why are you doing this to me? Please go to your car Why and wait. It's my life. I can't move all this. I can't. I can't help it. Why? Sorry. Why? There's, there's a person at this office, at this storage place. I don't recognize him. He's not the person that works here anymore. <laughs> He's trying to evict me. Because you've been recording other customers while they're at their units. Okay, he says because I've been recording other recording. customers. Recording. Recording other customers while they're at their units. Is that a reason for an eviction? I don't need a reason, unfortunately. But that's the reason. That's one of the many. Um, I don't think I need an officer. He says that he works here, that he's in charge of the facility. Bye. I think I'm okay. Oh my goodness. She said to the dispatcher that she doesn't recognize the manager, but she knows for a fact that he's the one that is trying to evict her from the storage facility. Wow. Finally, on this crazy and outrageous episode of Karen Shenanigans, this customer really wanted her pie. Take a look at this. So if you watched this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Please go home, Karen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe y'all.